so the two newest fire stations in the city of La Crosse are this one and Station 3, which is on Mosey Boulevard. And um, they were built in 1967. When they were built, they, they took down a uh, fire station at, on State Street and a fire station that's um, actually uh, looks like it's going to be for sale on Denton Street. Um, it's been used as a senior citizen center. That bell there came out of the, uh, the station on State Street, which was Station 1, um, for, for many years uh, before this one. And then on Gillette Street is our oldest station that was built in 1940. And um, it's, it's the most historic looking station. It's probably the station that people comment about well, the most because it's a neighborhood station. And that was built to be a single house station. So where the other two, they would have had a truck and an engine. And then when we switched our apparatus to where we, we used what we call quints, operate as both an engine and a truck. So they have a ladder and a pump on them. Now at station two, Station three, there's a quint and a rescue, a two-person rescue that um, their primary focus is first responders, and then they join up on a fire with that, that other crew. And then station one has uh, typically always been the, the catch-all. We have uh, an engine, a quint, and rescue, and our chiefs operate out of the station. Uh, downtown fires are always, um, they're difficult, they're old buildings, they sometimes have shared attics, which makes it easy to spread the fire. Probably more towards the beginning of my career, there was a, um, re a paper recycling fire on the north side where um, there were a couple of fatalities and, and the, uh, most of the fire department was called back um, to, to fight those fires. As you go further back, when you didn't have modern uh, fire protection in place and you had older construction. When, when you had a loss, sometimes it was a much greater loss. So some of those fires were, um, they were a lot more dramatic. Back then there were some huge buildings and a huge loss to the community. What kind of inspired you to become a fire, firefighter? Um, you know, I think, I think uh, it's something that people are just drawn to, probably more blue collar minded, but you know, just have that interest in helping other people and getting involved in something you know bigger than themselves spend a lot of time if you like spending time with other people you know they talk about the uh, you know the firefighting family and the brotherhood and sisterhood and um, it's it's just it's an entire lifestyle it's not just a career well, we're certainly fortunate lacrosse uh, we've got an internationally accredited fire department um, we're relatively well staffed. I think we've got some great investment in our equipment and our apparatus and in the training levels of our personnel. So a lot of, a lot of great accomplishments have happened, uh, which is a new chief a couple of years ago stepping into it. Certainly, you know, uh, stepping onto that foundation and, and seeing what's next. Uh, the, the fire station situation, uh, just the, the aged fire stations and uh, the work that had been done in the probably the decade prior to me getting here on different studies and kind of walking down to the point where we're at now where we're starting to ask for some money and look at new properties and get some new some new uh, stations built hopefully. Uh, certainly we've done what we can to keep them uh, up and running. Uh, we take a lot of pride in our equipment, our stations. We're certainly uh, protecting the public's investment still. As you look at uh, Station 4 on the north side up on Gillette Street, that uh, structure is about 80 years old. Um, if you get up there to take some pictures, the, the garage that, that current fire engine sets in was designed for a truck about half its size. Um, so we ha we can't even get all of our trucks in that building, uh, which is a problem as we have fires going and move rigs around. Um, it's certainly just very antiquated and as you look at the that structure, as well as uh, probably station two, the other north side station on Monitor Street, um, it's, it's basically a garage with some very small living quarters off of it. And um, it's just uh, the, the garage door clears the truck by about this much there as the truck's pulling out. And we had some great uh, pictures in the task force where we had the trucks that were, there were actually two trucks in that bay when it was originally built. Now one truck barely fits. And that just shows you how um, the trucking industry and how the fire service has kind of evolved over the last 60 to 80 years. Um, and then certainly the, the big criticals as well as far as risk management um, from kind of the fire chief and the human resources point of view. 
Um, we're, we're trying to engage women to get involved with the fire service yet. We have no gender equity uh, bunk rooms or restrooms, uh, workout spaces, things like that. So um, it, it just, uh, from that risk manager side of it, it's, uh, it's kind of awkward. Uh, you know, we're, we're inviting women to come in and be treated as equals yet. As you look at a young female firefighter coming into the fire service, uh, when she's working in a fire station with uh, eight or nine other males, Locking everybody out of the lone bathroom on this floor would certainly be an awkward point, I would think. ADA requirements, uh, certainly we're a public building. Uh, when people want to come in and meet with the fire chief, they got to come up a flight and a half of stairs, no elevator, so that makes it kind of awkward when they're elderly or handicapped. And uh, it's just, uh, the building's kind of outlived its, its prime, so. Well, money is the big one, yeah. It's, uh, you know, a new fire station ranges anywhere from probably uh, four to seven million dollars, depending on where you're looking at, with the size and scope of the project and how many rigs and how many people are working out of it. Um, so the, the money will be the one uphill battle. Uh, we've got two fire stations requested in capital funding for 2020. Uh, that's really up to the public and the council if they want to rally around uh, that, that kind of mission. We're, we're putting the numbers out there and we're engaging them with task force studies and space needs studies. But ultimately the, uh, the elected officials need to hear from the public if, if they agree we need new facilities and, and respect that. We're going to keep asking. At a certain point in time, you know, buildings eventually get too old to work in. I think as you look at our oldest station up on Gillette Street, um, there's cracks in the foundation that water comes through. We're working on patching those, uh, but it, it continues to leak. Water leads to mold. Mold leads to uh, you know airborne issues with uh, employees working in those buildings. So, um, it, do you continue to throw money into aged and antiquated structures? Or do you finally make a decision to build something new and move into it? So it's not, it's not an if, it's just a when. When will it become the priority?